Parramatta City Raceway. And they've put on a heck of a show so far. That's a good lineup of sedans too, AJ. If you look at it, uh, uh -huh. we hope you enjoy it. This is round one of the 2WS FM 101.7 sweepstakes for late models. At PCR, keep an eye on John Pine out of the fourth row and the man on pole, Don McEwen. McEwen gets away smartly. 22 goes with him. That's Lockie McClure. As they go through the bottom turn, 61 getting up smartly there into the second spot. And here's Pine down the inside, back behind them, racing up to put the pressure on them. I don't think this will go flag to flag. And look at Pine on to the outside as he comes down the front straightaway in the number nine car. I tell you what, his brother Rambo Rod back in the pack isn't... Uh is coming through like gangbusters. He's feeding everyone a wheel. He's moved up probably half a dozen positions already. And Ron Pine ready to recapture the form that uh, sparked a whole field here last time he was here at PCR. Race leader is McEwen though. Oh, look at Pine. He loves this. Just wait till he gets hold of his brother, John. They go down the back straight, number four getting up through the pack as well. Keep an eye on him. That's Stu Robinson. He's looked good tonight. And Johnny Pine is caught out wide, but she's got a good drive off that bottom turn. McEwen, um, I've seen better from McEwen. He's at least clear. The Pine's now up to second. He'll run McEwen down. I've got no doubt about that. Just watch Pine work the high side of the racetrack, and he's got a beautiful line through this corner, and he comes out absolutely flat strap. Opens the gap up, 61 goes through, looking for the other Pine. Where is he? He's back in the pack just a little bit in the three car as they go down the back straight. So Donnie McEwen is the race leader. Here he is coming off turn number four at the moment. It looks like more like uh, Donnie is, uh, is quick in a straight line, but the car definitely doesn't handle as well as the Pine car that gets through now into the back straight. So half a straightaway, the gap back between them. It'll only need one spin, and that'll agitate and aggravate Pine no end. OK, coming up in some lap traffic, and McEwen is just forced to back off here as he comes in behind the 31 car, gives him a little tap. Pine, though, proves me wrong, half spins it, runs it via the infield, loses a lot of ground through there, and 61 is, in fact, the driver that's probably making up more ground, and that's Mark Blight. Tell you what, they are everywhere. Rambo Ronnie is off, as too is number five, Pygram. Rambo Ron was the second the two to go so whether he'll have to go ROF I'm not quite sure with the officials have seen. Killer competitive and um, he just hasn't had the best of nights they needed to go welding on the car so something often and John Pine actually a blessing in the skies I would think for John Pine who sort of lost to Stu Robinson we've seen some good stuff from him tonight and further back in the pack Alan Baker in the number three car the yellow car and one row ahead of him in the two car is of course uh, Bobby Brewer so there's still many chances in this. That there is... Uh, it's about got them all formed up now. They should actually get almost a start on these the first time around, which means that Ronnie Pine had better stand on the gas. Now the number five car, is it going to start? Oh. Fair dinkum. Right, Don McEwen to lead away. 13 laps remaining, so still almost anything <coughs> can happen. Whether Ronnie Pine can get up amongst it, will You bet have you, to you watch this. You watch Piney on the outside of McEwen. McEwen spends half the straightaway sideways, and this will be interesting stuff as McEwen sets it in, but he'll never hold Ronnie Pine through there. Pine will come out on the back straightaway. No, he can't. That goes to show you McEwen's car's got a little more stick than I thought, and he gets it nice and sideways. Now here's the chance down the inside of him. If Ron gets down, John gets down there, they'll have a great race. Now, back on the inside again, he says. Here, cop this, young Harry. Move on to the back straight away. Oh, he comes up behind him too, gives him a little tap. Once again, Johnny Pine and Don McEwen. Nose to tail as they come out of that turn. Back in second, uh, third spot, rather, is the 24 car of Fatty Ward. 31 is the next place car. Then on the outside, it's number four, Stu Robinson, as they make their way onto the back straight. Here's one that's out of uh, harm's way, fortunately, 71. I wouldn't go back in there, mate. I think it's out of your class. That was Grant Dowling, 31. Race leaders, though, still having a heck of a scrap. That's 18, Johnny McEwen and Carnivore 9. 
John Pine as they go down the back straight away. Oh, oh, he can't track. help himself. <laughs> you poke, poke the tail of the car up in front of him, he'll give it for you. They've had one of this guy stalled halfway down the front straight. They've already had the ambers come on one more time. That'll, that'll bring him out. And slowly, slowly making his way up through the field. I think it's more slowly than surely. The 31 car may be headed for the pits or at the back of the field. A little bit of a dispute about who should be starting in the third row here. Alan Baker's been making up a bit of ground the last couple of laps. 24 zips up the inside, says that'll do me, but that leaves Baker hung out to dry here. One moves back, and then the other guy stops. And that's kind of a uh, 22, I think, again. Lockie McClure. Stopped again in the same spot down the back straight after a restart. Alan Baker has now come to a standstill down the main. You know, the racing has been good from the super sedans, but by God, there's a couple of them need to square up the problem of stalling. Watch this. He'll just drop straight into the third row here if he can. Yeah. There you go. That's what he had in mind. He just wanted to make sure if he didn't start and get to an extra lap, he might have had to start at the back. OK, with a bit of luck, they'll drop the green. And we'll see whether or not uh, this great race that we've been watching in the, uh, from the front two, Don McEwen and Johnny Pine. Look at Pine, he, he jumps on the gas and pinches the other guy down the inside. That was good driving. But McEwen will tear in there. If there's a little out, they cop that young Harry. But it didn't work out that well. Donnie does a bit of driving that way and it never really works out. He's left some of the fiberglass up there in turn number two. And now he's gone back about uh, five or six on the trail. He's copped another rear ender. Yeah. There goes John, uh, Ronnie oh, Pine. Look at Rambo. Ronnie Pine's got through. He comes down the front straight. And he's got everything flapping in as he goes to the bottom corner. Oh, and hasn't Donnie McEwen got some problems? Trying to steer it uh, towards the infield, but that front axle is going nowhere fast. Oh, there goes Piney around him again. Up on the inside, 24, is Paddy Ward. He gets up into the second spot. Then it's Stu Robinson in the number four car. 16 is just back behind uh, those pair as they come off the top turn, come down the front straight away again. Good ride here from John Pine. There's Robertson going through. And uh, Robertson putting plenty of pressure, let me tell you, uh, on the number 24 car as they go down the back straight. Makes a big move up on the inside of him. And Pine gets away from them on the front straightaway. 24 pocketed uh, Stu Robertson in beautifully. 16, not too far back behind them. That's Robert Carrick. And he's doing a good job as well. And then out of the pack then comes a car number two. John Pine, the pit crew car from Wickham, up in the Hunter Valley. It's opened it up to about all oh, 10 car, uh, yeah, it'd be 10 car lengths at the moment and probably then four back. So he's opened that up nicely. Bits and pieces of coach work flying off cars as they go down the front straight. And I'll tell you what, John Pine doesn't back off at all for a corner. No, he's very, very good. And full credit to brother Ron. Ron has had a lot of problems here tonight, but Ron's up to probably about fifth position. Car number 42 dragging all bar sundry along with him. Two laps to go for John Pine. Car number nine, the pit crew car. Welcome back to Parramatta City Raceway for the Super Sedans. The Pine Brothers, famous for their endeavours within this category of motorsport. White flag is out for one of those two brothers, and it is John, who is all conquering here tonight. Down the back straightaway he goes. And this is the final race on tonight's program. So, ladies and gentlemen, as he comes round turn four, please put your hands together. The winner, Johnny Pine. Good drive from John Pine. Fabulous drive. Second is going to go to 24.
That's Paddy Ward and Stu Robinson will pick up third place. <laughs> well, despite some problems, no doubt about who was going to win it because he was just very aggressive and gave it his best shot and looked really sharp out there too. He'll be coming around for the trophy presentation in just a second.